Let's look at a couple examples now how to schedule the actual work. First, we'll start with an installation or construction type job. You wanna add a job to the calendar, which you can do from this screen or from the job screen. Then you wanna pick the job that you're scheduling. Now I need to pick the calendar they're gonna add this job to. I could be scheduling this job for construction work or lawn care or fertilization. So it's up to me to pick the calendar. I can also specify a work order number and a manager if I'd like. Now I wanna pick the tasks on this job that I wanna schedule and click the top one for all the tasks. Or if I only wanna schedule some of the tasks, I can do that as well. And it'll only schedule the man hours I've selected. Next, I wanna pick when I'm gonna schedule this job for. I can pick a specific date or I can check my calendar. Here it shows me I've, my two installation crews are booked up this week because I've got install A and install B crews. Next week, however, I can see I've got a gap for install B. So I'll add it to that Monday by just clicking on it. When I click next, it's gonna bring over the estimated man hours from the estimated tasks I picked in the step earlier. It'll also add that buffer for give me some extra time for mistakes and weather. And it'll use the productive hours per day and driving hours or unproductive time per day to make sure that I've got just the right amount of time scheduled for this work. Under planned crew, I can pick installation B because I know that they're free. It'll default them to a crew size of three because that's how I've set them up. But I could also schedule a five man crew or a two man crew depending on the specific job. I'm gonna round it to the nearest half day. At the bottom here, I can get a calculation of exactly how long this is gonna take. With a three-man crew, it's gonna take me about 11 and a half days. If I used a five-man crew, I could finish this job in seven days. So I can do some planning or thought here in terms of how long it might take to get the job done. Next, it's gonna summarize all the dates and how much time on each day it's gonna schedule. And when I click finish, it's gonna add that job to the schedule and I'm gonna see it now show up on my construction calendar. Another really neat feature of the construction scheduling is how easy it is to edit a schedule. You can jump into a construction job right in the middle of the schedule. For instance, here I'll jump on this job on February 12th. When I go to edit schedule and I make changes to this schedule, it's gonna show me how many man hours are left or should be left as of February 12th based on how I originally scheduled the job. So I would have so many man hours at the beginning of the job and it knows that on February 12th, I should have about 73 left. If that's incorrect, maybe we're ahead of schedule, maybe we're behind schedule, and let's assume we're behind. If I still estimate that I've got at least 98 hours left, I can change that and hit adjust schedule. It'll automatically remove the rest of the schedule for 72 hours and recreate a longer one to make sure I get the full 98 hours worth of work that we know we have left to do so that I don't end up with scheduled jobs always crashing into each other or not leaving myself enough time to get them done.